it really gives me enormous uh, pleasure to be here with you um, to announce the next phase of our CLIMB, our Columbia Life Improvement Monetary Boost, uh, Columbia's Guaranteed Income Pilot Project. Uh, for the fathers participating in this project, it will be the most important and hopefully uh, most transformative phase of this effort. Uh, two weeks ago, these fathers came here to the Midlands Fatherhood Coalition. It's been doing so much amazing work across the Midlands for the last several years and participated in orientation uh, sessions to, to learn uh, about the CLIMB project and how it will benefit them over the course of the next year. In addition to learning about the project, each of these fathers were issued a CLIMB debit card. Uh, beginning tomorrow, the first of the monthly $500 unconditional payments will be loaded onto the climb cards. Uh, the payments will then continue over the course of the next year. Uh, this pilot seeks to determine the effectiveness of regular monthly payments to address financial instability and the subsequent effect in strengthening fathers, their families, and their communities. All funds for the crime project are privately and philanthropically raised. Uh, Columbia has joined 10 other cities across the country in launching guaranteed income projects. These efforts have been coordinated and given guidance by the national organization's Mayors for a Guaranteed Income, a coalition of mayors in cities that will explore cash payment programs in our cities. The founding mayors of the network include um, our amazing leader, the former mayor of Stockton, California, Michael Tubbs. Chokwe Lumumba of Jackson, Mississippi, Melvin Carter of St. Paul, Minnesota, Raz Baraka from Newark, New Jersey, Asia Brown, Compton, California, Eric Garcetti, Los Angeles, California, Adrian Perkins from Shreveport, Louisiana, Libby Schaff from Oakland, California, and Victoria Woodards from Tacoma, Washington, and of course, myself, uh, Steve Benjamin, proud to represent the people of Columbia for the last 12 years. In each of our individual cities, uh, these mayors have initiated similar guaranteed income projects to provide for families, struggling mothers, artists, those lacking stable financial resources such as uh, banks, those who have recently served prison sentences, workers who unfairly receive less than the lawful minimum wage, and so many others. In a moment, you're going to hear from Dr. Jermaine Johnson. He'll detail and acknowledge the different local and national partners who've worked uh, with our staff over the last year to strategize, design, and launch this program. I do want to uh, give a huge thank you to our Columbia City Council. Although this um, uh, program is funded privately and philanthropically, it's important to have a statement of values uh, from our city council. This council voted unanimously on a resolution in support of the CLIMB pilot program just this past June. Uh, thank you all for being here now to, to more fully detail how these payments will benefit fathers in Columbia. It's my pleasure to introduce Midlands Fatherhood Coalition Executive Director Angela McDuffie um, so, and after Angela, I think we're going to hear from uh, Dr. And, and State Representative Jermaine Johnson. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Midlands Fatherhood Coalition, uh, where we recognize that fathers are essential, that they are valued in the lives of their children. Um, I will be uh, remiss if I did not acknowledge the one person who single handedly. Um, and deliver this opportunity to us. Um, and that was Dr. That is Dr. Jermaine Johnson, who has been an advocate for our organization in more ways than one. And, and so I want to, to, to thank him uh, for this tremendous opportunity. I also want to state to, to thank uh, Mayor um, C. Benjamin in the city of Columbia. I, I cannot tell you um, how immense this opportunity is. I mean, we strive to, to build strong families. And this is just one um, nugget in, in things that are, uh, uh, we feel are yet to come. Um, I do want to, to um, bring up our 
the um, chair of our board of directors, um, who will provide a little more information about the Midlands Popper Coalition, Mr. Mark Shook. Good evening, it's my pleasure to be here with you. Uh, my name is Mark Shook, I'm the current board chair of Midlands Fatherhood Coalition. On behalf of the board, I extend our thanks to the CLIMB team for the work that they did in identifying the program participants, contacting them. Um, I'm also appreciative of the science that went into this study. Um, this program is not only supplying funds to individuals to see if it can make their lives just a little bit easier as they attempt to assist their families, um, but it's also a study designed to see the effectiveness of it that can be shared with other people. Um, I'd also like to thank the fact that they selected Midlands Fatherhood Coalition for this, and I believe a lot of that is the credibility that this organization has within the community. Uh, we've been doing this work in Columbia for over 20 years. We're part of the South Carolina Center for Families and Fatherhoods. Parents of all types interact with this organization, whether it is to go through our formal curriculum, uh, which lasts a full year, or whether it's to engage some legal support or advice, or just to find a mentor. I know in my own life, I'm a father of three, and there's nothing I find more intimidating than that work. And many times our fathers need support they need advice, no matter what background they come from. So again, these funds will be used with people that have interacted with this organization. And I just want to say thank you and invite the man of the hour, Dr. Johnson. Good afternoon, everybody. Again, my name is Dr. Jermaine Johnson. I'm also state representative for House District 80. And I'm just so excited to be here today for the launch of this program. This has been something that has been uh, in the works for a very, very long time. Uh, at least over the past year, we have been designing and coordinating and meeting and just doing everything that we had to do to make sure that all of our T's were crossed and our I's were dotted. And this was just a hard fought program to get going for us. So I have to thank a lot of people uh, on this, which is why I brought my paper up here, just so I can uh, not forget everybody that I had to thank. Uh, first person, of course, we need to thank is Mayor Benjamin for his vision uh, for, for being a part of this. We've had a, a number of meetings. I've been uh, talking to Mayor Benjamin for a long time, trying to get him to be a part of this program and to kind of buy into the concept. And we talked about the, the data and the research and the things that go into this. Uh, and, it, you know, I got a text message from him uh, sometime last year. We were like, you know what, y'all were right. <laughs> I said, all right, so let's get this thing moving forward. And from then on, we decided to build and see what we could do with this program here. So I have to thank, you know, Mayor Benjamin and the City of Columbia for this. Next, I definitely have to thank uh, the Midlands Fatherhood Coalition. Uh, I'm very, very, uh, you know, aware of what the Fatherhood Coalition does. I, I was working with the Fatherhood Coalition for some years. Uh, so I know firsthand the effects and what they have in the families and these fathers and these communities. Uh, they don't just sit here and do peer, su peer support groups, but they're in these communities. They're, they're, they're doing things where they're doing grassroots. They're knocking on doors. They're talking to people. They're doing job fairs. They're really strengthening these families and bringing men back to the forefold, to the, to the front uh, of, you know, doing what they have to do to make these families and keep truancy down and, and, you know, just to do things for these children. So they, you know, we definitely, you know, have to thank them. I work very closely uh, with the staff here at the Middle Father Coalition. Uh, most notably, my, my, uh, my buddy, Andrew Costin. You know, we sat down late nights and early mornings and meetings and just, you know, Zoom meetings and here and there to make sure that everything was going to run uh, efficiently. I have to thank uh, MGI, Mayor for Guaranteed Income, and uh, Mayor Michael Tubbs. Uh, what he did uh, was, was to come up with this entire concept and fight for the United States, you know, just to make sure. He, he did a whole trial run in Stockton, California, to make sure everything was going to go smoothly. Uh, and he didn't just stop at his own town, his own city. He wanted to move this all across the United States and invite other mayors into the fold to say, you know what, this works in my town. Let's see if we can work in yours. Let's try to help other individuals out on this. So, you know, he was really, really, you know, just a, an advocate for what we were doing here. We've all talked to him. So things were just so exciting to be a part of that whole coalition there. You know, I also have to thank Mocafi and, and Ignite Cities. You know, they work hand in hand to help us provide these debit cards. Uh, to get together so we can have a way to facilitate the, the financial backing and the, and the financial, you know, just the know-how the know to do everything with this, to, to load the debit cards. Uh, we have to thank uh, the CLIMB Task Force. A lot of the members are, are here today. Uh, we got a task force full of, of individuals who were for guaranteed income and uh, also a couple uh, critics who were against guaranteed income because you have to have everybody in the fold so you can flesh out the best solutions to these things. So, you know, we got people who like it, who, who were against it, 
But, you know, if we can convince the people who were against it to actually be for it, then we know it works. We know it'll be uh, a piece of data that will be supported. We have to thank uh, SC Thrive. SC Thrive came in here with us and, and, and they did the, the benefits counseling. They sat, all, they sat all day with us right here in this building, uh, going over all the 100 participants that we had to, to offer them the benefits counseling, how this money could affect them, what they could do with it. Uh, also uh, to, to offer additional benefits for these individuals that were coming through here so that they know that, that all these different benefits are available to them so we can you know, strengthen these families the best way that we know how. Uh, I have to thank uh, Central Carolina, uh, who is our fiscal partner. You know, they have been so accommodating, so helpful to us uh, over this past year, uh, making things, you know, quite frankly, to be, you know, very simple because, you know, they've reached out to us. They sent us everything that we needed to do, and they've just been on board with everything. So we want to thank them for their partnership and facilitating a lot of these things. You know, like Mayor Benjamin said, uh, none of these, these uh, contributions are used from city or state funds. These are all... Uh, uh, private donations that are coming here. So we want to be able to expand this, uh, this, this program here, you know, uh, and, and as long as we're receiving uh, more private donations, we can expand it as, as far as we can. So, I, you know, I want to thank the, the UBI advocates all across the United States of America right now. You know, it's not just here in Columbia. We, they're everywhere. They're all across the United States, and they believe in what guaranteed income can do for families. So we want to ex extend and expand this program. So if you want to get any more information, please go to ColumbiaClimb.com. Uh, you can contribute from there, but you can also uh, go see the, the, the FAQs on there, the Frequently Asked Questions, and get any more information that you want to know about the program, how you can contribute, how you can volunteer, how you can assist, and what more can be done to further this movement. The last thing I want to do, I want to thank my team, the my Climb team, uh, everybody who's been around, who has uh, stayed up with me, and uh, who's, who's argued with me and, and you know, going back and forth about the, the design and, and the facilitation and how these things are gonna work and doing the research and the data. You know, I have to thank my team because we worked tirelessly uh, for over a year trying to make sure that these things were gonna happen. So I really just wanna, again, thank everybody for coming out here today. Uh, you know, my team is around. If you wanna ask any specific questions, they'll be here to ask any, answer any questions that you may have. Uh, this is something that I, I plan on uh, trying to expand on a statewide level. There will be some uh, legislation that will be introducing, uh, and hopefully this is something that we can make a trend for the whole entire state of South Carolina. So thank you all so much for coming. Yeah, I, I can answer part of that right there. Uh, so we chose fathers because there is a parallel um, uh, research study that has gone on in Jackson, Mississippi, where they did it with mothers. Uh, so it, we need to have data that supports all sides of the spectrum, not just one specific side, but you know, other sides. So we, this is unconditional payments. Uh, doesn't matter, uh, you know, what, what criteria you're in. We want to be able to have data that supports it all because we're, we're a small part of a larger coalition of data and research that's going on all across the United States. Uh, there's other countries that are, that are participating in this, and we just want to be able to add and contribute into the fold of the data that's already existing. Yeah, so we are uh, in our treatment group. There are 100 uh, individuals in the treatment group, but we also have 130 in a control group. Uh, we are also, uh, the, the criteria, you had to be 18 years of age or older. Uh, you had to be a father, uh, and you had to have some affiliation with the Midlands Fatherhood Coalition. So these individuals, they have come in here, they've asked for some sort of you know, assistance on something, some sort of service, uh, and that's how you know, we got in contact with those individuals. Uh, and you had to be a resident of the City of Columbia. One hundred. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So back in June, when it was passed by the city of Columbia, um, the council members they were saying that um, it's going to also be anonymous to monitor to see how these fathers are spending the money. Do you guys still plan on doing that? Um, correct. Correct. We we would uh, all of their data will be tracked. It would be anonymous. So we won't know how any individual is spending their money. We won't know how any individual, what they're doing or how they're doing it. But we will have overall generalized data of where the, uh, the economic impact is. And, and make no mistake about it, there, there will be an economic impact that is coming to the city of Columbia based off of all this money because all the residents are in the city of Columbia. So this is where they will be more, more than likely will be where they're spending their money. Uh, to come right here. So each participant is getting uh, roughly around $6,000 for the entire year. Uh, so, you know, you times that, you know, by 100, you have $600,000 coming right here in the city of Columbia that will be spent right here. Now, are these single fathers or is it married as well? 
it's a mixture. It's a mixture of fathers. Uh, some are single fathers. Some are, you know, fathers that have custody of the children. Some are married uh, individuals. Uh, and, you know, and one of the good things about this is when we did the onboarding, I, uh, I asked all of them uh, one on one. I said, hey, you know, how do you plan on spending your money? You know, what are you, you going to do with your money? A lot of them, you know, you'd be surprised by the answer you were hearing. Man, I got, you know, it's a blessing because I get to fix my car or it's a blessing because now I get to save up and I get to give this to my child when he gets older or I get to open up a new bank account or I get to, you know, get some clothes for my children. None of the things that they said were self-serving ideas. It was all about uplifting their families, uplifting their children, helping the communities out is what they all said. And I was, I was, you know, taken aback by that because I was so surprised that these individuals, they're not selfish individuals. They were truly individuals who were looking for a hand up. Let me say something. Sorry. It was, um, it's, uh, back to a few of the questions. I'll leave, I'll leave my mask on. Um, the, it's important also to recognize the uh, charity of Jack Dorsey. Um, so uh, again, while the city council has endorsed this program, Mayors for a Guaranteed Income, we raise the money, all, all the money, uh, directly from Jack Dorsey, okay? Uh, just to be, be frank, the founder of Twitter is the, uh, um, uh, the person who has helped stand these uh, programs up all across the country, um, different size awards to different communities. I made the decision to select the Midlands Fatherhood Coalition as a recipient of these funds. I'll make that clear. And that's based on the data that has been presented year after year by this wonderful organization and the way it's been changing lives every single day. Uh, every uh, program has been uh, very different. I know the um, wonderful benefits of having a fantastic father who sometimes worked three jobs in order to provide for his children and I know that so many men, uh, if given the same opportunity to provide even a very small amount of resources to help their children live up to their God-given potential, would also jump at the same opportunity. That's why I selected the Midlands Fatherhood uh, Coalition. Uh, it's important to note that some of these other partners who've been involved have been very involved in Columbia over the last year plus as we've been working our way through the pandemic. Ignite, I see, has been a long time um, partner of ours, you may remember them. They were the primary partner that helped us roll out the mesh Wi-Fi network over the colony in, in Bethel Bishop uh, last year. George Bersiag and Rayard Cosme and the team there, Mochafi. We uh, spent time with them over two years ago during my term as president of the Comps and Mayors. We brought them to the table as, hell, as well. Um, uh, Jermaine uh, Johnson, Dr. Johnson and uh, Andrew Yang and, and so many others did a wonderful job all across the country extolling the virtues of universal basic income and, and, and it raised, I think, a, a number of different, um, a, it raised a different level of awareness across the country, particularly as we're dealing with the challenges of automation, AI, and advanced machine learning. This, it's important to note, however, this is not UBI, that many of us in this room would not ever qualify for this program. Uh, everyone doesn't get uh, a, a check. This is based on, this is a guaranteed income for, for, for men uh, in this city. In other cities, it's women. In other cities, it's, it's a, particularly maybe a geographical area, a census tract. People who are people of need, who need that extra push, that extra bit of help. So it's, again, fully philanthropically funded. It's important to say the name Jack Dorsey as many times as we possibly can. But this is not universal basic income. This is a guaranteed income. And, and we will be tracking the information um, uh, day by day. Uh, we, uh, yes, we, we hired uh, Dr. Johnson because Dr. Johnson has been a leader in this space and uh, a recognized leader in the space, and he will be leading this initiative going, going forward. But uh, I think it's important to recognize Dr. Dor Jack Dorsey and also uh, make it clear that it was important uh, to me that if we're gonna have a partner to do this with, it needed to be the Midlands Fatherhood Coalition, and I'm, I'm glad uh, we made that selection. He's got a lot of money. I'm, I'm usually there with you. I think. Yeah, that, you know, I think in a perfect world, um, just as Representative Johnson, I, get, I keep to go between Jermaine, doctor, and representative, uh, depending on which, 
Uh, but just as Representative Johnson just uh, intimated, uh, I believe that, you know, smart policymakers follow good data. And uh, that's the reason we chose the Midlands Fatherhood uh, Coalition, this good data that shows that if you make smart investments, invest in people, uh, and, and, um, and give them a shot, they'll perform. They've been doing it in this program day by day. So that's why we selected the Midlands Fatherhood Coalition. If in fact this program, uh, Mayor's for Guaranteed Income, uh, in partnership uh, with this wonderful organization, shows that the proof is in the pudding, then uh, it ought to serve as a platform for uh, not just local investment, but also state investment and federal investment as well. Uh, this, is, this is a chance to show people that if in fact you actually invest directly into citizens uh, and do it in an anonymized way, uh, it, it's amazing. Uh, I was, and, and I'm, I, won't, I, won't, I won't drift into, into so many other policy discussions going on right now, um, but there are a whole lot of folks who are working their tails off right now, y'all, uh, working their butts off and are not earning a living, a livable wage. Uh, we, we should be doing better. We should raise the minimum wage. That's a whole nother story. We can talk about some other point. Uh, but um, uh, but there's dignity in work, and there ought to be dignity in what we pay workers as well. We can do better, and, and this is a way to show folks that just as each of us makes very difficult decisions and we invest in the things that matter most to us and our families, that these men will do the same. And I believe the data will prove that out and serve as a wonderful platform uh, for some smart policy making by legislators going forward. A absolutely not. This is this is like uh, Mayor Benjamin said. This is guaranteed income, so th there's no strings attached. So it, if they want to buy a movie ticket, they buy a movie ticket. If they want to, you know, pay for the child to take swimming lessons, they can pay for the child to uh, to, to do swimming lessons. There's nothing that we're going to do that's going to uh, change the the amount of money that they're getting or or remove this any uh, remove it away from them. This is unconditional payment. So. Uh, if they choose not to talk to me ever again, <laughs> they're still going to get their money for this full year, you know, because we're not we're not in the business of dictating how people spend their money. All right, we're in the dictating of giving people the resources so they can better their own lives. We stepped up. I mean, um, Michael. Tubbs, a former mayor of Stockton, who, who started uh, this effort through his Stockton Seed program as a, as a friend. Um, and he'd, he'd, say a, 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 he'd say a mentee of mine. I, I'd say he's probably part mentor and mentee uh, and a dear friend. And when he um, realized there might be an opportunity to secure a number of significant uh, private sector partners to expand the Stockton Seed program all across the country, he reached out. Uh, to his circle of, of friends. And it was important to me because just as we've done on, on any number of different policy issues across the, the, the map, um, it's important to be able to show people that thoughtful ideas that are pro-people, that are pro-business, that are sometimes considered progressive, can thrive in the American South. Uh, so often we think that the, the former Mason-Dixon line is a, is, a, is a Berlin Wall, where ideas that might actually invest in people, invest in their, in their humanity and their dignity, don't flourish here. Uh, so it was important uh, that just as uh, the mayors of Jackson and Shreveport um, stepped up, it was important that, that we'd step up and be able to show uh, that, um, and I, I think, I guess we don't, we don't have any, any other folks who are that much closer, a whole lot of folks in the West Coast and, um, and up in the upper Midwest. Uh, but um, obviously I've served as president of the U.S. Conference of Mayors, president of the African American Mayors Association, uh, so that space is a space where we enjoy a lot of friendships and relationships, and we've attempted over the last several years to leverage them as much as possible for the benefit of Columbia. And this is one fantastic example of it that will help, I believe, change lives. And, and, and Chris, back to your question, we want these fathers to buy movie tickets. We want them to fix their cars. We want them to buy books. And if it just means they're going to spend some QT with their with their kids, uh, building up, but but the, but as as representative. Um, Johnson mentioned, these are unconditional payments. This is their money. This is not our money. This is not your money. This is, our, this is their money. And um, we'll have an opportunity to track it in an anonymized way 
uh, to, to be able to prove the theory that, um, uh, that we all have, uh, that, that they have the same needs that we have. Uh, and, and if, in fact, we invest in them, everyone's going to be uh, um, better off. The collective will improve. But we want them to buy movie tickets for the kids and themselves as well.